Welcome back to Gainesville Homes Daily. Ryan here. So we've got seven homes on over the weekend. Uh, the first one's in Piedmont, 14289 Chalfont Drive. 650000 It's a colonial, five bedrooms, four and a half baths with a two-car garage. 5,744 square feet total with almost uh, 3,800 square feet above grade, which you can see is a nice front porch here that wraps around the side of the home. Um, vinyl siding exterior. Uh, listing has, you know, says that it's um, an immaculate condition. We'll check out the pictures here. Nice front porch, as I said. A lot of people like that feature that wraps all the way around. There is a sprinkler system on this property. Um, nice, so there's a patio and a deck. There's the patio down beneath. As you can see quite a bit of money has been put into this home. Here's your entryway with hardwood floors. You got your dining room to the left and formal living room to the right. There's the kitchen. Um, it appears to be some Corian countertops or granite. Can't tell. It doesn't say in a listing here. Office area. Two-story family room. Nice stone fireplace. It runs all the way up. Catwalk that looks down in there as well. Master bedroom. Go back. Huge uh, sitting area here. Many people obviously have no clue what to do with that space. Huge walk-in closet as well. So workout room downstairs in the basement. Got a nice game room area as well as um, a media room. Here's the nice theater room, custom done. You can tell a good amount of money was definitely put into this with tiered seating. Um, very nicely done. Um, you know, pretty much everything is, is done. There's not much to do here. It shows pretty much like a model, nice wraparound porch. A little under a quarter acre lot. So all in all, um, I, I think this is a good option. I think 650, you know, it's it's going to be at the high high point um, of the price range here for type for houses in Piedmont with this type of square footage. But I think that you know, for somebody to just be able to move in and have all this stuff with the movie theater, um, you, you know what I mean? The the game room, um, nicely painted throughout. I think that uh, it's it's well worth considering versus a house that might be priced like right at under 600000 just because of the finishings that are done here, including the, the patio and the deck. So like that property. 15201 Royal Crest Drive. This is a Regency at Dominion Valley Green Buyer. This is a condo, two bedrooms, two full baths. 15201 Royal Crest, number 202. It's going to be a to-be-built home, luxury adult living, so you have to be 55 years of age and older once again. Um, obviously, um, these are going to be to be built. Toll Brothers is the builder, so if you'd like to, you know, get over there and check out some different floor plans, I'd be glad to do that. It looks like the base price on this unit, two ninety eight nine nine five. One four eight eight zero Lynx Pond Circle. This is in Somerset for a, it's an REO bank owned foreclosure for three hundred seventy six thousand two hundred. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, seventeen hundred six square feet, just under an eighth of an acre. Um, so this is, you know, probably a good home for a first-time home buyer. It only has three bedrooms, so it's a little bit smaller. Pretty basic builder-grade kitchen, no deck or patio out back. Uh, lot size is relatively small. Um, you know, your your townhome price is going to come in in the, in the three hundred low three hundreds, and this is a detached home. It's really small lot, an eighth of an acre for three seventy six two hundred. I almost would probably be inclined to tell people to definitely consider townhomes. Um, instead of this property, if this is you know what you're looking for, just because I feel like you can get a lot more sizzle, a lot more bang for your buck in a townhome, even more square footage than what's offered here in the detached home, and it looks like there's a little bit of work that needs to be done here on that property. Eight seven five seven Ellis Mill Drive in Ellis Mill Estates. This is four hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred. It was built in two thousand ten. Detached colonial on just under a quarter acre lot, five bedrooms, four baths. So uh, you know total square footage is somewhere over five thousand square feet. We've got vinyl siding, exterior finish, hardwood floors in the interior. There's your formal living room and dining room. Walk-in closets. Deck out back. Looks like the yard slopes up a little bit there. Oh, pictures are okay. They're really kind of dark, and it does I don't think showcases the property um, as good as it probably shows in person. Um, you know, near all the amenities. Uh, it's only four years young, so to be priced up right at you know five hundred thousand, I think is a reasonable deal. I mean, thirty four hundred square feet above grade uh, to be priced under five hundred thousand with a fully finished basement, uh, it's a reasonable deal. I actually think 
15105 Gaffney Circle. This is also in Somerset. We were just there for that other detached home. This is a townhome right at 300,000 and 1,628 square feet. So this is almost similar square footage to that other home. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths. One car garage. As you can see it's been pr pretty well maintained, built in 2004. There's a kitchen, oak cabinetry, four mica countertops, it appears. It's nicely done, and I think, you know, once again, if you compare this to that detached home, it's similar square footage. It is a townhome, so you're, you know, right up against another home, but um, you do have a nice deck there, patio down beneath. Definitely some potential right at 300000 I think it's priced reasonably for sure. 5436 Heredity Lane. This is in Heritage Farms for $595,000. Uh, a little under a half acre lot. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths. Uh, 3,123 square feet. And then it appears um, there's a partially finished basement. Brick front. We have a two-car side load garage on this one. Nice granite in the kitchen. Stainless steel appliances. Sunroom. Bump out family room area. Pretty open floor plan, nice flow here. Some of the paint colors might not be um, your cup of tea, but obviously that's something that's easily changeable. Office area, the bath, here's a deck off the back. And here's the lot, almost half acre lot, like I said, pretty relatively flat. So nice. I think, uh, you know, I think it shows well, right at under 600,000. I think it's reasonably priced. Um, there's quite a bit um, that had been on the market over in this subdivision. This does come with a uh, full irrigation system as well, but nice community located off of Cat Harpin Road. 14350 Bakerwood Place. This is in Piedmont, 519,000. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths, just on a little under a quarter acre lot. It's 3,080 square feet. It says fresh paint and carpet. Two car garage. Um, backing to the gorgeous golf course. It has a golf course view, obviously. Um, and let's see here. There's the deck. Play the hardwood floors in the interior here. It was built in 2001. Pretty basic kitchen here. I have a feeling that, uh, you know, it seems like the, the finishings on the inside are not going to be, you know, probably up to par with some of the other homes that, you know, we've reviewed. Um, and I think that the majority of this price point is just that it sits on a golf course. Um, I was hoping to actually see what the view is out the back here. There is a wet bar, as you can see down here in the basement. Um... And I do not have a view of the golf course, believe it or not, um, which is the huge selling point here. There's over 4,500 square feet of, of finished space. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the interior of this one. Um, I imagine it probably shows a little bit better in person, but just to me, it doesn't look that great. Um, 519,000. You're, you're on the golf course, so you can say that. But it looks like there is a little bit of work that needs to be done on the inside to make it your own. If you'd like to schedule showings for any of these, give us a call. 703-596-0011. Or as always... Through the website, contact us, GainesvilleHomesDaily.com. Have a great Monday, guys. We'll be back with you tomorrow.